tragedy that occurred, which some press outlets and then the Bush administration was blaming on immigrants. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Jeff was the only elected official in San Francisco to turn out the city hall to advocate before the Board of Supervisors to stop this awful policy of permanently separating children from their families by passing the Due Process for Youth Ordinance, authored by then Supervisor David Campos. Yeah. Jeff stood with the immigrant community who was being scapegoated and blamed when others were unwilling to do so. Jeff also was a visionary and never afraid of launching cutting edge projects. In 2014, he hired Francisco Ugarte. A long time immigration legal services attorney to begin an immigration unit at the PD's office to provide deportation defense to immigrant clients. Jeff fought hard for funding from the mayor's office to grow this unit to what it is today a unit that provides critical deportation defense services to immigrants in immigration detention and throughout the Bay Area. <laughs> Jeff also was relentless and courageous in exposing police abuse and misconduct. I'm sure many of us vividly remember him holding a press conference to show videos of SFPD officers entering without warrants or consent and stealing from SRO residents. <laughs> He received tremendous backlash from the police chief and from the police union, but that did not phase him. He further pursued exposing this misconduct until he unraveled the SFPD racist text messaging scandal that made it impossible to deny that racial bias was real in our police department. Yeah. Right before Jeff passed away, he was working on exposing yet again beatings and illegal strip searches by sheriff deputies in San Francisco's jails. All right now. All right now. Jeff accomplished an incredible amount in a short time on this earth, fighting for racial justice, to stop deportations, to challenge our misguided reliance on criminalization in prisons, to address a wide range of societal problems. His work is far from done. If he were here now, he would call on us to continue his work. I'm gonna ask some of you, I'm gonna ask all of you questions. Please answer me loudly so Jeff can hear you. Will you fight to make sure that all immigrants have access to counsel and will you fight to stop all deportations? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Will you defend our sanctuary ordinance against any and all attacks, no matter how unpopular? Yes. yes. Will you organize and show up in court, at police commission meetings, at press conferences, at rallies to call out police abuse and misconduct? Yes! And finally, will you defend the most marginalized against criminalization, the most unpopular, the poorest, the people of color against criminalization? Yes! Thank you, rest in peace and power, Jeff or carry on your legacy of defending and loving the most vulnerable amongst us. And my prayers and thoughts are with your family. Thank you. All right, now, Angela. Um, Jeff was the only public defender that was elected by the people in California, y'all. How about that? That's what I'm talking about. I remember he had fought a murder case. It was like one of his first cases. And he had lost it, but the dude who he had fought for, right, he was a brother from Frisco, he got him released because he found out that they fabricated on that guy, right? They, they, they lied about the dude's case. And then the dude came home, Brother John, and guess what? Jeff hired him. It's <laughs> an amazing man right there. What's up, Shema? I'll see you, babe. All right, y'all, anyway, I'm going to bring up our next speaker. Jacquees Wilson. Did I get that wrong? Jacquees. My bad. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. This is, uh, my, my name is Jacquees Wilson. What, what I want us to do is, I want to say long live, and I want you all to say Jeff Adachi. Long live! Jeff Long live! Jeff Long live! Jeff I thank those Aztec warriors who were here earlier today for raising the spirit of our warrior, lawyer, Jeff Adachi. He was a champion for justice. He was a champion for this community. 
and he was a champion for all of us, yeah. most importantly. Jeff was a man of many talents. He was a movie maker, and Jeff understood the power of images. He touched us with his movies. He made us know that we could do better. His movies included The Slanted Screen and You Don't Know Jack, The Jack Sue Story. Both dealt with stereotypes that Asian actors faced. And when you all watch that, you will see that many other racial minorities have faced similar stereotypes. His other movies included The Ride, The Defender, and Ricochet. And they dealt with the criminal injustice system and immigration. They made us take a deep look at police brutality and the impact that those systems had on our families, us, and our communities. And my favorite movie of Jess was Racial Facial. And that was one in which an eight minute film about race in America that was used to spark dialogue and how we could improve race relations. And in this office here, we have a program called Court Watch, and Jeff would come and speak at every single one of those events. We would play racial facial, and he felt most at home with the children. And with that, I also want to thank Mr. Dachi for being here as well. <laughs> From the bottom of our hearts, we love you, we will always love you, and we will never leave you. And we thank you so much for giving so much to us. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff was on a crusade to end the school to prison pipeline. I say that again. Jeff was on a crusade <laughs> to end the school to prison pipeline. When we look at the juvenile justice system here, and we look at over here at 850 Bryant, less than 6% African American, over 50% locked up who are African American, there's a problem. There's a problem. And he dealt with that. And Jeff had a program called LEAP. And LEAP's aim was to keep young people in the classroom rather than the courtroom. It dealt with students who were suspended and expelled. And because of Jeff's inspiration, myself and my brother started a nonprofit, and we fought for students <coughs> who were being suspended and expelled. And it was because of the mentorship and the encouragement and the leadership of Jeff that inspired us 